Well, the Nantucket Historical Association, the NHA, was founded in 1894 after the decline of whaling to really kind of preserve and the island's heritage and its stories. Um, this building, the Whaling Museum that we're in, was purchased in 1929 um, to really house Edward Sanderson. He was a minister. All of his collections relating to whaling, so the harpoons and the lances and the blubber hooks you see. So in 1848, that candle factory was um, purchased by the Hat by William Hadwin and Nathaniel Barney. Now, in 1929, it became the Whaling Museum. The first Whaling Museum. Museum, um, was the Fair Street Museum up by the Quaker Meeting House, the Cabinet of Curiosities. In 1930, this was kind of all of the museum artifacts related to whaling were packed in the candle factory from 1848. And then in 2005 is when there was this remodel where the building we're sitting in today is Gosnell Hall with the giant whale skeleton that hangs above. And this skeleton of a sperm whale washed ashore here on Nantucket in 1998. The purpose of the Whaling Museum is to really interpret and tell the stories of Nantucket's, of Nantucket's history. I think that what you know we're all striving for these days is telling a more inclusive story, and I think that is that mission is at the forefront and needs to be, you know, telling these stories from, you know, the Wampanoags are our indigenous, the first inhabitants, and telling it from their perspective, working with the Mashpee tribe to make sure that story is um, appropriate. Walking through the museum, something is catching your eye in every little corner um, and it's easy to miss to miss a certain thing you know so when you you walk through the museum and you start off with the timeline and you get kind of a, the history of Nantucket from the first inhabitants the Wampanoags Then you move into Gosnell Hall and you've got this giant whale skeleton screaming in your face and then the size of the whale boat and this, you know, the skeleton's only a juvenile, he's not even fully grown. So then to think that these men were out in the middle of the ocean in the South Pacific um, in uncharted seas next to these, you know, leviathans of a creature. Um, you walk through the candle factory. I just love being in the candle factory on the second floor and looking at the beam press because there's something just transports you back into time and you can really just kind of soak it all in, especially because I'm here alone oftentimes in the morning and the evening and it's still and I can just think about all of the, the you know, the history of that room. You go up this ramp and then um, the decorative arts doors, you open and there's something when I go in there, I just feel fancy. 